Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. And as you can see the first item, as you can see it is fall. Found some more fall items. This right here is a wall decor. Yes, wall decor and this is the fall item tag. This, obviously, well you could put it anywhere in the house but for me, it would be a kitchen decoration. We have the hot apple cider, and it has the recipe, ingredients, and how to do it. The bottom part, right here, it shows you how to do it, which I like that, you know. Since I've never made it myself, I cannot say if this is the exact recipe to make hot apple cider, but if anybody's willing to give it a try and see if this is... The true, uh, true recipe. Go for it. And let me know how it came out. But I guess like someone like me who's never done it, I would probably give it a try and see if it's the actual recipe for our hot apple cider. It looks simple enough. But knowing me, I'll probably burn it because I can't even burn water myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Not. <laughs> okay, but I did find this. This is like a. An upgrade to the one they made they had last year because last year I did get me one like this but it was smaller and it didn't have this part right here so I do I like this year's upgrade to the recipe wall decor and you do hang it on the wall with this juke cord absolutely adorable nice fall colors Color, uh, fall vibes and I did pick out the three that I found I don't know if there was four of different ones or not but I did pick out the three different ones that one was the hot apple cider this other one is the pumpkin pie here and it says homemade pumpkin pie did the other one say it no mm -hmm. You see here the recipes, ingredients, and how to do it. And also has the juke cord to hang. You could hang it on the wall or lean it against the wall on your counter. That would be good too. And the third one I picked out was the apple pie. That's nice. I don't know, it kind of gives you the cottage feel in your kitchen with the brown wood look. Beautiful. I like how it has the detailing right here. Give it so it's not just plain and simple. You have the little details on the side to make it look pretty and nice. So I did pick up these three. And let's move over to the side. And I did find two other wall decors. Found this one. This is let's get this out of the way. It just says, "I love fall most of all." If you can see that. There you go. And it's how beautiful it has the sunflowers, pumpkins, and all the I guess vegetables. This is like radish, apple. We have all the, so this is a cotton. Yeah. And you do get this little, I think, raffia bow. But if you're not into that, you could always, because you can tell it's glued on. You can heat it up, leave it out in summer right now. So you can just leave it outside at the sun hit it, and you can just scrape off the glue. And you can add your own ribbon to it. I think that's cute. I like that. Hang it on the wall. Or you can have it like in the center of the table. It's nice and flat. The only thing that's sticking out is the glue. The glue. The bow that goes glued on. You can always have that off. But everything else, it's smooth. You can put a lot of stuff on here to make it into like a little centerpiece kind of thing. But I love the saying, I love fall most of all because it's true. I do love fall most of all. Got that one. And the other one I picked out is this one that says, Bless This Home. 
I love the coloring. It's nice and light. So I like green, orange, and cream colored pumpkins and gourds. I love that. Also has the deep core to hang. Look at that. And it's also smooth. Nothing on it except for the bow. Look at that. And the next thing I got from the fall section, which I was happy to find, but I didn't get to find the whole set. But I got the squirrel. I know there's other little animals like the fox. The fox, the, the squirrel, fox, I think the hedgehog or porcupine. And I'm not sure if the other one is a raccoon or not. I can't remember. But this was the main one I wanted to find. And I'm happy to find it. And then they have the, the hedgehog one there too. But I didn't want to get him if I wasn't going to get the whole set. If I was to find the whole set next time I go in, I'll grab him. I'll grab all of them. I just love the detailing. Absolutely adorable. I'm holding the acorn. See his tail. I just curves down to in. Just love it. And it has a nice little weight. And like okay, you put this like on the table and just put him on there. It'll make a nice little centerpiece, maybe a little a candle in the middle or some more little figurines or this right here. I also picked this out. You know, put this in the middle of the table, a coffee table or wherever. Have a nice little centerpiece. And what this is, I didn't open it, but I found a few on the shelf that you might want to keep an eye out and make sure yours is not broken. I found a few that were cracked in the bottom or when you pick it up, it rattles. It's not supposed to rattle. So I'm guessing it's like a little jar container. And let me see. Oh, pick up my scissors so I can open it up and see what it looks like. that off so this is it right here it's just a little jar or container this is the lid you can have it on your table you can fill it up with some candies and just put it in, on here people will see it they'll see it's a decoration open it up you have some little yummy treats or you can put your jewelry or little knickknacks so you want to it away and not lose but I think it's perfect for the fall or if you want to use it for Halloween you can always get either a permanent marker which I probably wouldn't suggest or like a little belt material or construction paper black and make like a little and just you know glue dot the a jack-o-lantern face on it and that'll be good for Halloween and then when the Halloween's over just you know rip it off or if you have it like against the wall, you could do, you know, draw the face, jack o' lantern face on one side and then turn it around when it's over. But I liked it. I like like that. And you did have to look around, make sure none of them were broken. But it is beautiful. I like it. I, you know, for me, I like candy. It makes a candy dish. <laughs> so I got that one. I got this. Oh, I almost forgot about this one right here. This is another fall wall decor. Yeah, it's a wall decor. You can see it has the sheer ribbon, brown ribbon to hang it. And it says home sweet home. Oops, too close. And the words are in glitter. And I love the dark brown of it. The sunflowers. Look at that. Absolutely love it. Just hang it down on a small thin wall. It gives it a good accent. Absolutely love that. 
Or you could just lay it on the table. These are very good, large size. I don't know, maybe like five, six inches. I would say maybe a little too big to like take it apart and do like coasters out of it, but you could. You could do it that way. Just, you know, put some, you know, just seal it in so the water, the wetness won't ruin it, but you can always seal it. I think that uh, to Mod Podge. Unless there's certain Mod Podges that's good for outdoors, so it won't get ruined. I think this will be nice. I love it. Picked this one out right away when I saw it. And this is the fall items I found. I did pick out only one thing from the Halloween section. And it's this one right here, because I think it would be fun to have. It's an LED sh LED shadow projector. So it does require three batteries, which I already put on there. Let me show you real quick. Let's see if I can turn this light off. Ooh, kinda got dark. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see. Can't there we go. Turns on and off. And as you leave it on longer, it kind of takes, it blinks a little bit more. Let's see if you can see it, like right here. Can you see that? What it looks like. We get really close. And it flashes from the color, different colors, green, blue, red. You get the little witch, the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, with jack o' lantern, ghost, a bat, and some little stars, I think. Yeah, so the colors blink in different timing. So you get the purple, blue, green, and then the red. So yeah, it just requires three batteries, three AAA batteries. That's it. That's the only thing I got from the Halloween. And let's see, this is it. I was gonna, yeah, this is it. I'm like trying to figure out if I got anything else. This is the only thing from Halloween. And this is the Halloween label look, which is purple. Well, I hope you saw something that you like and you can find it at your store. And if you are new here, don't be shy, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.